Stormy Weather Stick Together by Susie Spafford. Stormy Weather Stick Together by Susie Spafford. Splash! Don't get me wet, Susie, said Emily Marmot. Why not, asked her brother Ollie. The wetter the better. Susie just giggled. Come on, she said. We're almost to Grandma Gussie's garden shed. What a cozy place. They were just in time for the two o'clock meeting of the Duckport Adventure Club. Corky rushed in behind them. I thought I was going to blow away out there, he cried. The wind blew. Where's Jack? asked Susie. He should be here by now. Thunder boomed far away. Oh my, said Emily. I hope Jack is okay. Grandma Gussie came to the door. Cookies, she said with a smile. Jack is not here yet, said Susie. Where could he be? Oh, I think Jack is just fine, Grandma Gussie said. He's only five minutes late. He often loses track of the time. But he's out in the storm, cried Emily. It's cold and wet and scary. Not for a duck like Jack, said Grandma Gussie. In fact, it was because of a storm that her own town of Duckport began. Once upon a time, she began, there were two brothers. Their names were Tim Duck 1 and Tim Duck 2. It was time for their flock to fly to Alaska for the summer. But the brothers lost track of the time. The flock left without them. So Tim Duck 1 and Tim Duck 2 set out on their own. Well, they flew right into a storm. They couldn't see. They were lost. When the storm was over, they looked down. They were not over Alaska, but they did see some islands. It was a wonderful place. I must find my way to Alaska, said Tim Duck 2. I must tell all the other ducks about this place. And that is exactly what he did. All the ducks stuck together and built the town of Duckport. And it was because of two ducks who lost track of the time. And a big storm. Suddenly, Jack burst in. Sorry, I'm late, he said. Where were you, asked Susie. I lost track of the time, I guess, Jack said. That made everyone laugh. Now, Grandma Gussie said, what shall we do together? Tell ghost stories, yelled Jack. Corky went first. Once upon a time, he said, there was a boy lost in a cave. He was filled with big, hairy spiders. Ew, said Emily. What happened? He turned into rocket turtle, Corky said, and escaped. Emily went next. A girl got a fancy tea set for her birthday, and she did not write a thank you note. The end. That was your scary story, Jack asked. Of course, said Emily. Bad manners are very frightening. Jack and Susie told a scary joke together. What should you do if a monster runs in the front door, asked Jack. Run out the back door, cried Susie. Ollie laughed so hard, he got the hiccups. Rainy days can be fun, Emily said. Yes, said Susie, as long as we're together. Inside where it's warm and dry. The end. Please remember to subscribe.